welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. And <laughs> in theory, I am continuing on from the piece that I did about an hour ago. In fact, there has been a gap of that hour because when I was switching the camera off, I knocked over a full beaker of tea all over my trousers and myself but my top half was okay so you can't see that I've actually got my pyjama bottoms on and you know I don't care. <laughs> that I don't care is becoming very much my mantra. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing but uh, I will leave that for others to decide. I just wanted to talk about first steps and you know how those babies take those very tentative first steps and there's another word for them when it applies to us taking first steps and that's Kaizen and I'll include a link through to a piece I wrote about it in one of my blogs but that first step is always the hardest probably because you spent ages beforehand thinking of the what ifs well what if it doesn't work? What if it all falls around my ears? What if I make a complete idiot of myself? Rather than looking at the positives, what if it works out brilliantly for me? What if it's just what I need and want? What if it's ticking something that I've wanted to do for a long time? <laughs> and that happened to me many moons ago. I'd always wanted to go abseiling. But as I'm not particularly keen on heights, it was something I'd put off. And the school that my son attended at the time, they were doing something which involved the boys abseiling off the roof. Well, my elder son abseiling off the roof of the school. So he had to go for training. I took him along to this quarry somewhere in deepest Lincolnshire. For him to have a go and I was standing at the top looking over the edge thinking oh no way could I do that and then it was suggested that maybe I could do it so I thought right you're never going to get this opportunity again you've not got the time apart from that initial look to build up those reservations those excuses those explanations for why you shouldn't Go on, do it. So, right, yes, I'll do it. Uh, the smile becoming a bit of a mask. So I was harnessed up, had everything explained to me. And I said, yes, I'll do it so long as the instructor stays right next to me. So he promised me he would. And it wasn't the fact that he was a rather dishy young man that <laughs> made me make that request a bit of a bias on it so uh, we we started and he said right just tip back and I went back oh imperceptibly come on you've got to go back a bit more and there was a little sapling next to me I grabbed hold of it and as I was leaning back this sapling was leaning back with me and he said you're going to uproot it if you don't let go so I let go took a deep breath, took those baby steps, and I did it, and I loved it. And I went back up and did it straight again, straight away again. And then I joined the boys in going off the, the roof of the school, much to my father's amazement. But that sapling, obviously, and the instructor next to me, they were my support. So don't turn down any support that you have any support that's offered to help you make that first step and just make it a baby step so that you're not biting off more than you can chew. Go on, you can do it. Thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.